Good morning, good afternoon, good night guys. What is up, it's Jojo and we are in Batu today. We're doing something very special today. We are actually building a $200 lightsaber. When I first heard that you could build a lightsaber here in Batu, I never thought I'd have the opportunity to build one. But I'm very excited to say that I am building one today. We're gonna meet up with some pals and yeah, we're gonna build a lightsaber. I don't even know what color. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Instagram for that, but I'm very excited. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share this video to anyone who's a Star Wars fan, and uh, ring that bell, because very soon we are going to Disneyland. So it's gonna be a good time, guys. I hope you enjoy. Let's get this video started. These are the pals I was meeting up today. How are you guys doing? Give, What's up? Say yourself to the vlog. How are we doing? How are we doing, everybody? Good to see you. Bright suns. Hi, bright yeah, suns. Sun. Very bright. <laughs> this is my pal Sean. Um, we've been talking for a while, and he's a big Star Wars fan. So we met up today, and we're gonna build this lightsaber. Are you excited? Oh, it's beyond me. Do you know what color you're gonna do? I do. Ooh. Well, oh. I don't know if I can share that. Oh well, we'll keep it secret. We'll keep it secret for now. Stay tuned. Of course, if we are in Batu, we have to get our Ronto wrap. I don't even know what's in it, but it's delicious. There's coleslaw, sausage, a ton of other stuff. And look at the water bottles. They're even themed. Like that says Dasani, but in a special language or something. Very, very cool. I'm about to eat this. I'll talk to you after. So I always talk about this, but this is Hangar Bay right here. You can get really good food um, in here. It's kind of like quick service food. Um, there's a nice little place right here where you can sit down. There's a fan back here from Earth. They have a couple fans from Earth here. You can sit down, relax a little bit. There's some shade. And we were just talking. I'm gonna leave a link down below to a Facebook, Instagram for Sean. He's actually a vacation planner. I just, we were just sitting down. I just finished my Ronto wrap. It was so good. Drinking my special water. But he was telling me so much about just a dining plan and like how being a travel planning person agency is really cool because the magic starts with him. And he can make anyone's trip a lot easier and like I had no idea this was even a thing until right now so if you're ever looking to like you know go on a trip and you don't know where to start hit up Sean he can help you there you go I'll leave his link down below check him out <laughs> the sound of my voice we have a new recruit Spooky. I don't care who the Millennium Falcon belongs to I want to know why it's here. Hand on your side. Turn around and turn around and see what loyalty looks like. For the first and here we are. We're going to get some milk right now. I'm going to get the green milk with tequila in it. I'm very, very excited. By the way, this place does mobile order. Even on Batu, there's mobile ordering, which is very, very cool. All right, one more time. Beep. 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 I do. Thank you so much. Yummy. All right, Sean, trying it. How's it? It's really good. Yeah, definitely not what you expect from milk, but definitely good, no. I think. It's kind of like a what citrusy kind of taste to it, or what do yeah. you think? Some kind of fruit. <laughs> it does taste. I've heard people say it tastes a lot like uh, like fruity pebbles. Oh, okay. Or something like that. I, I see that a lot. That's a good description yeah. of it. I like that. Yep. Yummy. So we are now going to wait for the Millennium Falcon. I've actually never waited through the standby wait time. Usually I go single rider. Um, it's about a 50 minute wait it said, so we will keep you updated about how long it takes. But even in the queue line, guys, you are so entertained. There's so much level of detail. Even under the Millennium Falcon, like what's going on there? Like that thing's broken, like we need to repair that. Like there's a lot of things you can really just take and stare at the wires. There's just a lot going on here. It's about 50 minutes, so we will keep you updated. So Sean was actually pointing out to me um, all this detail here. Like, we don't even know what that is. It kind of, it's popcorn, I think. I think there's popcorn in there. But if you look around, there's always uh, a ton of different details. You got droids over there. You got a decapitated droid over there. Um, this is a very cool queue line. Um, we've been moving pretty quickly right now. I don't think this is def I don't think this is a 50 minute wait. We'll see. We still got a little bit more to do, but we're moving pretty quickly. I really haven't felt like, oh my god, we're standing still. I know, this is nice. Yeah, we've just been chilling. Like, we've been standing long enough to enjoy the environment and then keep on moving. So, yeah, for sure. And this is a rocket transport solutions. Today, I am offering the airport to the sea of a lifetime. 
I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the ship. But, and that is where you come in. So it's been about half an hour. We're always making new friends out here, by the way. Go ahead and introduce Sanders. yourself. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Sander from Spartanburg, South Carolina. William from South Carolina also. So we were just talking. We made friends and waiting in line. That's the cool thing about here in Disney. You can always make new pals. Now, one thing that's really cool, we've been waiting for not that long. It's been about half an hour. Definitely not 50 minutes. Now, something I want to show you guys real quick. There's level of detail everywhere around here. Even when you're walking, right now, you can, obviously you, you guys can't feel this, but this feels like we're on, like, about to go on an airplane. You get what I'm saying? And how it's like, it's like, it's like the little connector tubey thingy. So it's really cool. And we're waiting right here. We'll be going into the Millennium Falcon very shortly. When you're waiting for the ride to begin, you can wait in the lobby of the Millennium Falcon. It's very cool. You got a little lounge area. Cool place to take pictures. There's a port nest right up there. Um, there's even, I don't know where they got this blanket from, but it is so soft. This is my favorite blanket right here. It's so soft. Anyway, we're going to be hanging out here waiting to go on the Millennium Falcon. Come on, go join. And as you're leaving the Millennium Falcon, it's all broken now. We put a little damage on our ship. It's okay, we did good, good. Did you guys enjoy? You had a good time, first time? All right, so we just got off Smuggler's Run, so it definitely wasn't a 50 minute wait because the entire thing was about 50 minutes. Yeah. So, good time, good experience. You guys had fun? It was awesome. Yeah. Have to do it. If you haven't, make sure you come to Smuggler's Run here in Batu at Hollywood Studios. We're gonna take some pictures now and then it's time to build a lightsaber. So here we are at Savi's workshop. I've gone past this building so many times, but I've never been inside. You can make a lightsaber in here. I am so, 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 so very excited to see what happens. I have no idea. I've not watched any videos. I just don't even know what goes on in here. So I'm very excited to see what happens. It's gonna be cool. Here is the option you can get for building the lightsaber. You have the peace and justice model, the power and control, elemental nature and protect and defense personally for me i'm definitely between power and control and elemental nature i feel like i'm going to go elemental nature just because i vibe with all these little coolest things on it um i'm a cloud sign i'm, a, I'm an air sign i'm a gemini so i i'm i'm vibing with this what do you what do you think what do you what are you looking at i believe peace and justice peace and justice <laughs> peace and justice all the way this is so cool wait i'm getting so excited i didn't we're building a lightsaber it, it, this just made me realize we're building one. This is, I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. A selective group of gatherers have decided their lives to restore the balance in the galaxy by passing on their knowledge of the Jedi lore and the Force. These master gatherers will guide you through their workshop, assist you in customizing and building your own unique lightsaber. Choose your destiny. Um, so they have little descriptions of what each one means. So you got some lore behind it, which is really cool. I like this. Peace and Justice is basically like old scraps of the Jedi Temple. Power and Control is from, you know, the Sith and like them being all mean. Elemental Nature is one with the Force, which I vibe with. So I definitely, in my opinion, from best to not preferred for me, it's Elemental, Power and Control, Peace, and then Protect. So very cool. Very excited. We're going to go right through these doors, I'm assuming. Everyone's waiting and uh, yeah, we're checked in now, so we'll see you in a few. It's about to go in and most importantly, the pin for Elemental Nature. Oh, Elemental Nature pin. What? You get a pin? You're going to want to 
wear those on the front of your body so the gatherers inside can see which set of strap you're gonna be building with. Wow, this is so cool. So I didn't notice guys, but you actually get a Disney collectible pin that you have to wear so that the gatherers can know what lightsaber you're building. That's the Peace and Justice one, and this is the Force and Nature pin right here. And like I said, this is an actual Disney pin, like you keep on to this, so. This is one pin I'm definitely not trading. <laughs> Here we go, we are going inside. Look at all these different construction tools. Oh my God, what's going on? This is wild. The Gatherer, wow, I'm excited. <laughs> I haven't watched the videos on this. I have no idea what's going on, I'm excited. Hello. Hello. I like you? your outfit. I'm good. <laughs> there you go. Yes, you just set that right there. It's perfect. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> Welcome to the workshop. I know. Hey, it's a lot. To us, it's everything. <laughs> I know you met some of my fellow gatherers. You may call me Kembe. This may all look like a, a lot of old junk, but let me assure you, some of it is new junk. <laughs> we do this on purpose. We call ourselves the Gatherers. We search the galaxy for ancient relics and the forgotten places, abandoned outposts, battle-ravaged planets, and what we find, we bring here. So where a stormtrooper might see worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history. And in these troubled times, preserving our past may well ensure the future. How many of you have heard the legend of Luke Skywalker? Me. Excellent. So have we. <laughs> and now we hear there's another, a new Jedi, one who started off as a scrapper, like us. What do you know her name? Ren Ray. Ray, yes, Ray. But what she is leaving right now is it's the spark of hope that we have been waiting for. And that is why you are here. So look ahead. You build this. A lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of our galaxy's greatest heroes and its darkest enemies. It is elegant and enigmatic. Building a lightsaber is a work of art. The saber is a reflection of its building, with the force flowing between them. Today, you will feel that connection. Now, if I keep talking, <laughs> we start with the most important part of the lightsaber, the kyber crystal, able to focus the energy of the force to magnify it. Some have called the kyber crystal the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal reveals the color of the blade. You may recognize some of these from the great Jedi heroes of history. The blue crystal, wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and now, red. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tana, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare and beautiful, like the crystal wielded by Mace Windu. Red. It has been called the color of power. The crystal of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader. And now, Kylo Ren. But these are stories of the past. We are here for you, the future. It's time for you to choose your kind of crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. Builders, close your eyes. One of these shines brighter than all the rest. This is your crystal. Now open your eyes and take your kind of crystal. I was not ready. <laughs> I 
hit you with the force. Okay. <laughs> I'll take your glass of crystal and place it on the green crystal holder in front of you. Because now it's time to join your crystal to the lightsaber design that you have selected. It's time to build the hilt of your lightsaber. This is the foundation of the way. It is your sense of control. So try to keep your hands from being disintegrated. Okay. In the box in front of you, you will find all the lightsaber parts that you have chosen. Now these parts have come from across the stars and through the history of the Jedi to be here in this moment for you right now. Looking at the box from the left, you will find your chassis. Two rows of grips, your emitters, your bottle caps, and two mated pair of activation plates. Building a lightsaber is a personal journey. Just as you chose your kyber crystal now, you will choose each individual part that makes up your own unique saber. The gatherers are here to assist you should you need help. Let's build! Well, you need to start with one, I can use two. Yeah, we have to get today, so let's get started. So if you guys have watched my building a droid video, I, I struggle with building things. Oh, Perfect! I did it! Doing it backwards. Yeah. Yeah. On top. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Very, very nice. Ooh. Last but not least, use your pummel cap. That's what we're talking about. So we're definitely going with this guy. Just like that. Very, very nice. I know we're ran for it. Material will stay in your hand. Very hard to scap in this case. Check this out, guys. So this is my uh, nature thing, <laughs> my my nature hilt. Pretty cool looking. It does look pretty nature, I have to say, especially with this huge red corn horn on the end. Man, that's cool. <laughs> and then it's still sparking. All right. And so far, I'm really enjoying this. This thing's actually pretty like good weighted. Like I'm just having a good time. This is really cool. <laughs> Here she is. Wow, this thing looks amazing. <laughs> it's really cool. It looks cool? You like it? It looks great. I love the chunky emitter as well because it gives you that. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Thank you so much. Great salad. I like this guy. I want you to really appreciate what you've done here. You have built the hilt of your lightsaber. And nothing unexpected or traumatic has happened. Because this is the dangerous part. Everyone leave your lightsaber at your station and take a big step back for me, please. Right now, the gatherers are stabilizing the crystals inside your lightsaber hilts for activation. So they're inserting your lightsaber hilts into the crystal stabilization chamber. This is a very tricky process. It should only be done by someone with a lot of training and expertise. Should something be misaligned, there will be a large expansion of energy in a short amount. Do you know what's happening? Many parts over now. Join the Yes. Lightsaber. It begins. It is time. Your journey. Master Yoda. Yes. It is indeed time to take that next step. 
We've reached the final part of the process. The bond between builder and lightsaber is about to be forged. In a moment, I'll ask you each to step forward, place your hand on the hilt of your lightsaber, and on my signal, all together, we will activate. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Step forward. Hand on your lightsaber. Activate. Oh. Activate. What? Wait. What just happened? Builders, raise your lightsabers. You have built a lightsaber. What? Like the Jedi and the Sith came before you. And like the Jedi who can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. Wow. Please deactivate your sabers. Like you when it can lead you, it cannot. Your journey, you both begin. May the force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. Builders, in your hands you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power should never be dropped on the ground. <laughs> So to help protect your new lightsabers, we are pleased to present each of you with a saber sheath as you depart. Now, our time together is at an end, but your journey is only beginning. It's time for you to make your mark on the galaxy. Remember, you are each as unique and extraordinary as the lightsaber you have created. Aww. Who knows? Maybe next time we'll be telling your story. To the spire! To the spire! Oh my god, look at this thing! Ah! I gotta, I'm chilling, what's up? I just wanna walk around in public with this thing, not in Disney. I'm like, what's up? How are we doing? I'm gonna show you this right now. All right, check this bad boy out. Boom! I feel so cool right now, not gonna lie. Since I've been in Batuu, I see people with these and I was like, man, I wonder how it feels. Now I know, it's really cool. I just like, open. But our day is not over yet. Now we're actually going to go over to the place over there, which I'll find out in a second. And we're going to go see if we can get ourselves a kyber crystal. Because apparently you can put kyber crystals in here or something. Who knows? Let's go find out. All right, so this thing's wild. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely not putting this away right now. I put it away just to show you what it looks like. But I'm walking around with this thing. I kind of wish it was nighttime now because I want to see this thing at night. But even in the daytime, it's pretty illuminescent. Like, let me show you for a second. So when I turn it off. So like, it's it's like it's the middle of the day. I mean, we are in shade right now, but you can see that the light is pretty strong actually because, boom, that you can fully tell that that is green, and you can fully tell this is my own unique lightsaber. Ah, wild, wild. Um, guys, by the way, when I was picking my color, you must be wondering, Jojo, why'd you pick green? It was like, I literally closed my eyes and went with my heart. I let the force choose, because I opened up my eyes and it was right there, and I'm like, oh, we're going green. I didn't even think about it. Literally, I was so captivated by everything that was going on in there. It wasn't until I saw the colors that I was like, oh my god, I have to pick a color. So we're green. But now we're going to go get a kyber crystal, apparently. Let's go. Hold on. Hello. A lightsaber? Yeah. We'll assume you're a collector. Yes, a collector. Only a collector. Only a collector. This is just uh, antiques. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. You don't have. Oh. All right. Can't let the stormtroopers see us with lightsabers. Got to stay away. So we are about to enter. Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquity. Apparently in here you can get a kyber crystal. Is that what, what is that right there? This is a Jedi holocron. Okay. It has hidden messages from the Jedi Masters. Interesting, very cool, yeah. thank you so much. So I've been in here before, and I've showed you this in the vlog before, but here we are at the Den of Antiquities. There is a ton of stuff going on in the walls. You got a ton of little memorabilia from different parts of the Star Wars Galaxy's world. Um, you can buy kyber crystals in here. I've never bought one before. I don't know where you buy them from, but we're gonna buy one. And yeah, 
I'm excited. This is a really cool store just in general. So here are the Kyber crystals. You can get different colors for your blades here actually. You can get green, blue, purple, white, yellow for the temple guard, and you can also come over here and get red. Now something really cool about the red Kyber crystals is that if you're lucky, there is a small chance you can get a black Kyber crystal. And they're just black. Uh, mishaps happen and it's just a very rare commodity. Apparently they're really hard to find. My coworker the other guy, they got one. We're not gonna play that game today. We're not, we're not gonna be gambling with that today, but we are gonna either go yellow or white. I'm not too sure. We will decide in a moment. So it's gonna be a white. This is the white light. Ooh, <laughs> it is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you. And then you also got yellow. Yellow is almost like a little brightish shape of green. Very cool. Mm. Hard decision. Thank you so much. Just like that, you buy it, and then and there it is. When I want my saber to be white, I put this little thing in, and it'll make it white. So. I'll have to do that. I'm not going to do that today, but I'm very excited to try it out at another time. Guys, I have a lightsaber. Look how cool this thing is. Always making new friends out here. We're vlogging out here. I, I like I literally guys, I kid you not, like I just saw him with the camera. I just met him. Like I don't even know what his channel name is, but I know he's a vlogger and I vibe with that. You're Ollie, right? I am. And say say your uh, channel for uh, the so YouTube. I'm at that DSNY solo guy. Amazing, yeah, amazing. What are you? I'm at JoJo's World. Awesome. Yeah. Well, are you having a good day? Yeah. Amazing. How are you? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love this. Well, hey, you have a good rest of your evening. Yeah, you too, man. I am literally a kid in the candy store right now. I'm having so much fun just walking around. I've had like three or four people come up to me like, yo, that's cool, look at this thing. And it's still daytime and it's just glowing and I'm just filled with joy right now. I'm so happy I was able to do this, guys. Like, the experience itself, like I literally got chills. Like, the gatherer was so cool, he was nice. I talked to him a little off camera. He was just really cool, very immersive. Really adds to the experience here at Galaxy's Edge. What? I literally just want to walk around all of but two of this lightsaber. I need to come back. Unfortunately, I need to go because I have other plans for tonight. But what I really, really want to do right now is just stay in the park and wait till nighttime. So, you know, I'm coming back. I am definitely coming back at night to play with my lightsaber in Batu. Not many places in the world can you truly just casually walk around with a huge glowing stick and be okay with that. So I'm very happy with today. I've had such a blast here in Batu. Also, can we talk for a second about how that stormtrooper literally actually went out of his way to call me out for a lightsaber? Very cool, very cool, very immersive. Love it. All right guys, it has been a fun afternoon here in Batu. We built our lightsabers. That was so much fun. Overall, the experience was a lot of fun. It did cost $200, but you get the saber, you get the back, and you just get a really unique experience. I was literally getting chills in there. Um, thank you for you guys. Thank you, Sean, for having me out today. This was so much fun. I had such a good time just building you with pals. Um, like I said, Sean, his social media, all of that will be down below. Um, you know, he can help you with making a good you know, vacation, yeah? But seriously guys, ah, and stay tuned for a part two because I'm going to switch out the lightsaber blade one day and make it white and come back here at night and have like a whole photo shoot or something. Like, I, you don't understand guys, this is so much fun and like, it's just so cool. It's just beyond cool. And even your switch is different, I didn't even realize that. Our lightsabers are so unique, it's awesome, honestly. And you got a little clip at the end, wow, this is really cool. Well guys, but with all that being said, every day, it's a blessed day to be alive, and we will see you in the next one. Peace! And before we leave today, we did say goodbye to Batu, but we're always making new friends back in Disney World. How are we doing? She was like, hey, you, you know, you're friends of Kyle. How are you doing today? What's your name? Heather. How are you having a good day? Oh, yeah. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Hello. How are you? Say hey. <laughs> How are you doing today? Great. What are you guys headed to next? Out of here. We're out of here. We're going on home. Just chill. Oh, I feel that. Well, hey, good seeing you guys. Yeah, 
All right, if you're still here, it's after credits now. Um, we're back in Hollywood Studios, but it is such a good time. It's so cool. Like, I just love holding this thing. I gotta put it away soon because I need to drive. But I'm literally just loving walking around this thing. I think I made a really cool lightsaber because I've been getting complimented on it, honestly. I've been getting a lot of eyes. And not because of me and my beautiful looks, but because of my beautiful lightsaber. This thing's amazing. <laughs> I'm literally a kid in a candy store. I literally feel like I'm two years old again and I love every moment of it. That is what Disney does here. That is the Disney experience I love and that's why I love Disney. That's why I love working here because they can make a 23 year old like me feel like a kid again at this thing. Oh man, it's Christmas morning, I swear. But anyway guys, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. Freaking crazy out here. I had such a good time today. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for the 9K and I will see you in the next one, everyone. Peace. Uh, uh. Bye.